going on YouTube? It's BR the CEO back with another vlog. I just wrapped up the vlog yesterday or whenever my last vlog was, but this is the following day after I ended the last vlog. All right, so today we got a new vehicle, um, a new Range Rover. It looks crazy. It's a crazy car. It's amazing. So um, we're about to do some content today. We're about to take pictures of the car currently right now. I'm about to meet up with my business partner. I'm currently in my Infinity. I'm about to show y'all some back end content creation. We're about to make some content. Me, Bam, Pierre, uh, a realtor, another photographer. So yeah, I got bright. But yeah, we're on the parking garage right now. I'm about to show y'all the new car. I tried, I tried to see a lunch and wanted to cop that bitch. What do you say? He's like, uh, it's a Pilar. He wanna do a Pilar. He need a big body support. <laughs> Man, put oh, that up. Shit. <laughs> oh, shit. He ain't doing nothing with it. Boy. Angle it, angle it right quick. Angle it like uh You got your lotion in here, bro? What you got going? What you got going on, bro? What you got going on, man? Man, we gotta hurry up and shoot, man. God, come on, man. come on. This mud clean, huh? I ain't gonna lie. Just angle it right quick. Nah, nah. Like this. Oh yeah. What y'all thinking? What y'all thinking? I like the door handles. Door handles is crazy. Car, crazy. Valar. This dude gonna turn it the wrong, oh my God. What is he doing? We're gonna make it work. He did it the wrong way, but we're gonna make it work. So I'm about to take pictures of this right quick. And all right, y'all, we just wrapped up the photo session. You know, you can kind of see the fit right there. I ain't really got nothing on. I ain't really got much. But yeah, y'all, we're about to head back inside the apartment. Head back in the apartment. I might change clothes, I don't know. I don't really like this fit. He just caught me at a bad time while I was getting ready. So I don't know what I'm gonna wear for this content, but we about to go hit. <clears throat> we about to go see like a $6 million house. I'm sorry, a $1.6 million house and um, shoot content in it and stuff like that. I need some gas. I don't wanna drive this car though. I really wanna drive my, um, I really wanna drive my Nissan. We gonna see though. We're gonna see what y'all think. Drive the Nissan. Thing is, the Nissan, it's like, it's low key. Like, you can drive it. Here's the thing, like, with these higher end cars, like, this one is only like 60,000. I'm saying only, but it's $60,000 versus the, um, this car be crying too much with no seatbelt. But it's like a $60,000 car versus the Nissan that's like a $20,000 car. So, those type cars, you don't really have to. You don't really have to take care of them as much. Like you can drive how you need to drive. Um, you know, you can get in and out of spots quicker with those smaller cars, smaller, you know, Nissans, Toyotas. You don't have to worry about maintenance as much. It's just not as much headache with those cars. But with these, like Lamborghinis, um, Range Rovers, Infinities, Audis, Mercedes, you have to really you know be super super careful with those cars because those cars like they cost a lot anything that happens to them they cost a lot maybe not so for the infinities but this is a higher end infinity this this sixty thousand dollar infinity infinities usually go for like 40 40 thousand 45 thousand but this one is like more higher end and it's a luxe edition so it's like the highest tier you can get it got the full it got the full sunroof it got the um, all black accents, like everything is all black, even the rims. It got the uh, alloy rims, all black. The whole car is black, like blacked out. Um, so it's like, you know, it's it's it costs like a little bit more than the normal um, Infinity trucks. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and wear this, y'all. We got the runners on. These shoes crazy. It's my first time wearing them. I got a few nice clothes right there. I mean, shoes. We got the Travis Scotts. We got the Gucci's. We got the Travis Scotts. We got the Comodé Garçons. We got these, look. For the ones who don't know, 
I used to customize shoes. That was my first business. Y'all see how crazy these are? This is my first business. I go crazy with these. Don't get it twisted. I've been, I've been a semi entrepreneur. We got these. These are just my nice shoes. I got more in my closet, but I customized these two a while ago, years ago, like years and years ago. But freeway out there. But yeah, y'all. I started. Um, I was doing custom shoes in college and before college and stuff like that. So took that money. Um, started my credit. I was paying people to do my college work in college. Hold on, y'all. I was paying people to do my college work in college. So, um, I really just took it from there. And it was it was a long journey, you know, building, building my credit. Um, hold on. Let me get right. Let me get right, man. Let me get right. Stick with me. So, it was a long journey getting my credit and stuff built. Um, I have 19 accounts right now. 19 credit accounts that's paid off auto loans and stuff like that. What am I doing? Paid off auto loans, credit cards, um, student student loans. Even though I only paid like two thousand dollars in student loans, because the rest I was a I was an athlete. I was a college athlete, so I had academic scholarships. I had athlete scholarships, track and football. I was in college. Just um, I was in college doing all types of stuff. I was doing school. I was doing football. I was customizing shoes like y'all just saw and all types of things but at the same time I was a businessman in college as y'all know we got the Baccarat right here I was a businessman in college so yeah I had all that stuff going on but at the same time I had my websites which is automation I had my websites pushing clients you know promoting to the clients then I had um I had somebody doing my schoolwork, so all of my work that I was doing, like for school, this was in the middle of COVID. This was like, this was like 2021, um, December 2021, around that time. I had people doing my schoolwork. I had one specific dude doing my schoolwork. He was in U of H, which is University of Houston, and I was in Louisiana, Louisiana College. I was having him do all my work online, and I said it was COVID time because during COVID, everybody was online, like. All the schools and stuff was online, right? So I use that to my advantage to give him all of my logins and passwords and stuff like that to do all of my schoolwork. So my schoolwork was automated. My, I would say my shoe business was automated, but I had to, you know, physically do the shoes. I was doing football, playing sports all at the same time. And if y'all don't know, college athletes, all they they're on the field and doing football and college sports more than actual school so it's like 24 7 you just football 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 and then you had to squeeze in school whenever you could like literally that's how a college athlete is super hard super crazy so i salute all the college athletes because it's like that's that's hard it's hard i've been there and i've done it i've been there and i've done it i didn't quit because I couldn't do it. I quit because I just understood the business side of sports. Like I saw the business side of it because I went to school as a corner. So I played corner. But the thing is, they forced me to play corner in college. So now, now I'm stuck playing corner when I get to college. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I said that right, but in high school, they made me play corner and I wasn't a corner, I was a receiver. So they switched my position. So when I got to college, I had to play corner. But I tried to switch back to receiver during college and the coaches didn't like that. So they, they literally stopped playing me. Like I wasn't playing. So I'm like, oh, okay, so y'all can control my future. That's how I'm looking at it. These other kids over here, y'all can do these other kids like that because these other kids don't have no other option. They grew up sports, 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 sports. Y'all feel me? So. Everything is sports to these kids. Like, these kids have no other choice. So if you were to drop one of these other kids, they would have stayed at that school and continued to play football. But me, I'm like, oh, y'all can control my future like that? Let me show y'all something right quick. So I left. Left, got it cracking, and now I'm here today. So six-figure uh, credit repair business, six-figure rental car business. So it's like, I, I, I didn't want to be controlled like that. Like, 
those people, those kids are literally being controlled. The athlete world is, is a controlled space, like all the athletes. And y'all gotta remember, in our community, we're only taught selling drugs, we're taught going uh, play sports, or we're taught to rap. You know, we think that's the only ways out, and that's not the only ways out. And that's what I'm here to prove. Like, I dropped out, and it's a lot of people who are trying to rap, you know, at the high school, a lot of people trying to rap, a lot of people trying to go to the league. Only two people from my area in my district went to the league. Two people, two people that I know out of all of these, but I'm in Texas, so like Texas is the biggest for football. So it's like, if you, it, it's, it's not that hard to make it out where, I, where I'm at, because it's, it's like so many good players. But with that being said, there's so many good players and we're the top of the football and it's like only two people, you know? Um, it was a little bit more, but speaking of, I'm just talking about my district, like the people that I actually played against, only two people went to the league. And yeah, they got to the league, but now they're in contracts. They're in this, they're in that. They got brand deals. So it's like, they still got to keep quiet on certain things. And that's still a level of control, which I didn't want. Like if I wanted to pursue football, I could have pursued football. I would have been better at track. I'm better at track than football because I, I was speed, like I, I was a runner. So um, when it came to college, I wanted to go football route because football was more fun and track was like hard. A lot of people don't understand how hard track is until they actually run it. But uh, track is just not as fun as football. And I had the ability to play football but if I wanted to, I feel like if I wanted to go to the league, I would have got close or either went to the league. If I would have put a thousand percent into it, which I wasn't, I just was playing for fun. I was just good at it. So, um, yeah, y'all, that's my take on being an athlete, college and stuff like that. But we're about to head over to the house. It's currently 12, 13. We're about to head over to the house. I'm going to stop and get gas and get some glue for this mic because it keep falling. But yeah, y'all come along and stay tuned. All right, y'all, so we just made it to the house. I just put the mic on. We got Bam. What's up, y'all? I just put the mic on, so hopefully the quality better. It's more direct. We're about to see this house, like, 1.3, 1.3 mil. Yeah, this mug crazy. This mug crazy. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I got the office, big old table, too. Nice living area. I like these seats. These seats are different. Pool. Can we Airbnb it? With the Airbnb it? I'm not sure. I had to look at it. Look at it. This mud clean. Let me see. They're trying to be like C. C most. <laughs> With the wine. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Hey. Yo, this mug is huge, y'all. This spot crazy. Look at the shower. Look at the shower, y'all. Oh. <laughs> Yo. Got a big room. Okay. For 1.3, would y'all take it? 1.3 million, would y'all take it? Let me know. I want to know. This one crazy though. Got the bedroom. Then you got to walk out to the pool. Pool a little dry. I, I would sauce that up personally. Let's see what we got upstairs. Yeah, I don't, I don't see no cameras or nothing. They got a little kid area. Bam, here go your spot right here. Uh oh, they got his little blocks. Okay then. Oh, they got his little TP. <laughs> we need a content house, y'all. Oh, they got a little gym. I'll break, I'll break that little thing. They need a bigger one. What I'm gonna do with that? What we gonna do with that? That bitch gonna break. Nah, this one clean, huh? Oh, yeah. I think this is a bedroom, though. You know. 
I had to put, yeah. I ain't really got nothing, just some everyday stuff. Hmm? I ain't gonna lie. When we go look at houses, we say everyone is the one. They all be cold. I'm telling you. Especially this next one. I know this next one is crazy. I need a master bedroom. Let me tell content is gonna be. It's a content house. They trying to be funny. Yeah. What y'all think? 1.6, no, 1.3 mil. But y'all gotta include, I think you gotta include taxes for real estate too. So it'll go up to 1.5. That's crazy. Couldn't be me. I'm bam. It'll be like after taxes, 1.5, 1.4. All right, so we about to get some content in front of this house. 1.3 million. Couldn't be me, but might be y'all. We got we got a ton of old houses around. I know the value of this house is gonna be crazy. Once they upgrade all of this stuff, all of these houses around here, this value is gonna be way up there, y'all. All right, so we about to head to the next spot. I'm not gonna lie, everybody agreeing with me. We not spending 1.3 on that. It's just, it, it's not a bad spot, it's just, the fact that it's 1.3 and not that big. Y'all y'all saw the property. Y'all saw the size of it. It's just not 1.3 worthy. But we got the content. I shot some content and we about to go to the next spot. So y'all stay tuned. We about to make some more content over there. I'm gonna show y'all the video or I'm gonna show y'all the spot. And yeah, we're gonna go from there. All right, y'all, so we just made it to the next house. As you can see, Super big. This one is like 1.6 million or something like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh yeah. What you think? Oh yeah. 1.6. I already saw it. Oh yeah. Is it appropriately priced? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this is way bigger. Yeah. And it's nicer, like the detail. Yeah. Is it coming furnished already? No. But she does. Oh, probably. Man. That's crazy. So see this one, 300 <laughs> more. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. this one way, this one way bigger. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, y'all want some cupcakes and shit? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's not too crazy. Decent backyard. It got the little entertainment space right there. You can put a TV. Oh yeah, this spot, crazy. Look at the details. It got the blue couch in the middle. Yeah. Refrigerator. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Yo. That's what I'm saying. That, that 1.3. That could have, that nice. could have, that's staying over there. Yeah, ain't it got the lights? What kind of, what's that up under there? Let me see. Yeah, show y'all that. I'm gonna show y'all everything. Uh, that was in the front. Hey. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Big windows, y'all see the window size? Like look at the window size, crazy. Okay, okay. Hey, they got a stand-up shower in the small bedroom. What? Ooh, look the fan. What's this? Wash and dry, golly. Washing dryer right there. Yeah, this this the podcast room right here. Y'all will never know. We set up a podcast right here. Had the cameras facing. Y'all will never know. I'm telling you. Look at the light, bro. 1.6 million. I'll take it. I ain't gonna lie. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, this is what we call a freak diet, y'all. Freak diet. Bro, this, this be like, this is the primary in most places. This, this the like, main one? This not, the main room? No, nigga. Oh. Yo, this like, he oh. say, yeah. Oh. Bro, they got walk-in closets for the small rooms. Man. Hey. Hmm? <laughs> what is this? Oh. Oh, that's what we call freaked all the way out. It's freaked out. Oh. For a meal, 1.6. You still can get bigger on the outskirts, but. but Wait, where you at? Yeah. Okay, so why? It, it ain't. No, nah, I like this. I like this. Look at I ain't gonna lie. Look at him, boy. Oh, <laughs> hold on. I gotta back up a little bit. Let me see. Hello. Yo. Yeah. Look at this, y'all. This don't even look real. Uh, look, look at this. Boom. Um, yo. What? This don't even look real. Bro, this whole freak out. This too freaked out. Freaked out. Bro, what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah this whole This is gonna be the podcast room and the office. Wait, I, I set up the table. I put some plugs right here. I just plug it up right there. That's what I'm saying. Like, this, this is a whole nother room. Yeah, this crazy right here. I have an interactive one to where it's, uh, you can basically do everything interactive. You can draw mm -hmm. here. Oh, yeah. Stuff, you can do like courses and classes. Yeah. yeah. What we gotta do today? Oh, okay. This a whole closet. We, we yeah. standing in the, what? Ring around the room. I'm in the back of the closet. Yeah. It's ring around the room. That's crazy. Look at this, what is this? Wow. Oh boy, hop up out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It got two. It got two toilets. Why do y'all need two toilets in the same, bro? Bro, they got two toilets in the same restroom. They two freaked up. Then they got the two songs. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, he get busy in there. Oh, oh, yeah, it definitely can put a pool back there. Yeah, you can do like a lap pool down here since it's so narrow. What y'all thinking, y'all? What y'all thinking? That's too clean. What? 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 Oh, let me see. Hold on, let me see. Are you talking about the bubbles? Oh, oh. Y'all can't see it. I'm trying to show y'all that, that little house over there. Oh, yeah, they. Oh, yeah, they lady. Yeah. What? That's crazy. Big old room. It's bigger than the hotel. It's live than the hotel. It's brand new. Hey, yeah, this is crazy. Then you walk directly out, and then boom. Yeah, what three bedroom? Four? Oh, I didn't even see this one. One, two, three, four. I don't even know. Then you can count the whole closet as another room. This room right here. Man, imagine y'all, I wouldn't run the rental cars out of this spot, but imagine like just storing your cars here. Like you can store like the Lamborghinis, Ferraris, R8s, obviously when we get there, but that'd be crazy. They got a, they got a stand up shower in every room. Oh, where you go? Yeah. <laughs> He's saying yeah. Yeah, what they do? Oh, oh, oh! Imagine just looking at your cars. You waking up in the morning, just looking at your cars. And this, 
this this is just a guest like this is another room just a little small room yeah this is insane 1.6 mil let me know let me know which uh 1.6 yeah i'll take it i'll take it look at the look at the stairs bro is more oh let me walk in the garage come on man that's what I'm saying. What? And it's see through? Yeah, see you. can see What? This is too much parking space. You can you can uh put one, two, three, four, five, six cars. Mm -hmm. You can park on the street where we at. Had them Lambos, yours in here. Track hawks. What? Then they got this little storage area. I ain't gonna lie. This thing crazy. Let me cut the light off. What? Cut the lights off. Let me see. What's that? Oh yeah. They got it. Come on now. This thing is insane, bro. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Bro, I ain't even show the office, I don't think. I probably did. Yeah, that office is crazy. Crazy. All right, y'all. So we just wrapped up with this house right here. It is. Oh, it is. Let me see. If my mic still working. Yeah, my mic still working. That house is 1.6 million. But y'all got to think about like taxes and property management and stuff like that when it comes to these houses. But I think it's worth it because the last house I just showed y'all that was 1.3. This one's 1.6. I would definitely pay another 300,000 for this over that one because the last one was but 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 um yeah y'all i don't know what we about to do now i'm just going with the flow so most likely we're just gonna go get food and then come back home but we'll see all right y'all so that's the end of that video as you can see we looked at some crazy houses like million dollar houses but crazy house um got a got a few uh you know, like content stuff like that videos in there off of off of the camera so those are good content spaces i use those spaces to do content and post on instagram all right so yeah if you guys like this video go ahead and subscribe go ahead and leave a like leave a like my bad i'm super tired right now but um yeah if y'all want to see more of the ceo lifestyle just go ahead and subscribe as y'all know i give y'all plenty of game in these vlogs so i'm not the type of person that sit down in front of a camera and give y'all a game i need to be walking around and give y'all a game like how i'm here, how i am right now all right but if y'all like that video go ahead and subscribe and i'll see y'all on the next one